Bonjour. So I've been sat here for ages trying to figure out what to talk about this week. And I remember the video that I did a while ago about overcoming insecurities. Quite a few of you messaged me, you know, like Facebooked me and even just commented kind of asking what it was about or um, asked me to elaborate on it. And I said that I would. So I thought that I'd do that now. I was going to do my video about anxiety and suffering with anxiety and stuff today because I know that that was quite highly requested. Like quite a few of you personally asked me to do that video. I'm going to do this one now and the anxiety one next week because they kind of link. And if I were to do them all in one video, it'd just take me like an hour to talk about it. So when I did that video, I was really sad. Um, I talked about losing someone close to me and a couple of you asked who, which is fine. You know, it's normal to be intrigued, human nature. And that I said I probably wouldn't be updating much and stuff like that because I was dealing with my insecurities and things like that. But it wasn't, it's, it's not as straightforward as just being insecure. It's very specific and it has a story behind it. So I'm just going to kind of elaborate on it. So when I was like 13, 14, uh, I started really getting into kind of body modification and piercings and anything that looked kind of alternative. I was, I was really intrigued by it and really drawn in. I really in enjoyed looking at it like I wanted it so um while I was at school I stretched my ears not big because my school were quite funny about it and so were my parents so I used to wear like well I'd only stretch up to probably eight or ten mil while I was at school and cover it with my hair for the teachers and then I'd go home and if my mum asked me I'd just say that it was fake and she knows now that I really did stretch my ears back then. She's not bothered anymore because I'm older now and I still have them. But she just didn't want me to do it and regret it. So I started doing things like that. And I got a little bit older. When I was about 15, I got my tongue pierced. And then I just, as soon as I hit 16, I went crazy with piercings. My last year of school, I shaved half my head off. Half my head? Half my hair off. And yeah, that was probably me at my most confident. The summer I left school, I had half head of hair, wacky colours. You know, I, people used to say I had too many facial piercings that it looked too much, but I'd just kind of be like, I don't care, I like it. Then within that year, like I said, I was I was most confident then. Again, with my weight, I've had a lot of comments about that, like, oh, you're fat. Oh, sorry, I hadn't realised, get me a mirror. Like, seriously. I used to never let anyone kind of uh, put me down or make me feel bad about myself. I was very, very, very confident in myself at, at that point in my life. That was... Probably me at my peak, I'd say. I used to go out every day. I'd, you know, wear dresses, whatever I wanted. I didn't give a shit. Like, I literally did not give a shit. I basically thought to myself, well, I'm this size in these clothes. And, you know, if I wear a dress or a skirt or whatever, I'm still going to be the same size. I'm still going to look the same. So I'm going to wear what everyone else wants to wear. And I'm going to feel good about myself. That's exactly what I did. Within that year, though, everyone around me kind of started... Not putting me down or making me feel bad, but, oh, you'd look better with those not in your face. And, oh, you should downsize your ears. They look a bit big. And, oh, you should grow the shaved side of your hair back because, you know, you look prettier and more feminine with all your hair. Subconsciously, I did all those things without realising kind of what was happening. I did gradually take my piercings out, convinced myself that I was bored of them. But what I really meant was that everyone else around me was bored of them so I took them out for the benefit of other people. I prefer my hair shaved than I do with it on both sides. That was the case when I first had it, that was the case growing it back and that's the case now, that's why I've reshaved a bit of it. Everyone talked me into doing all those things, like I, it was never anything that I suggested or wanted to do for myself. As much as I love my parents, my mum my in particular didn't like me having my head shaved and she kind of, you know, oh, come on, you're doing really well. We'll pay for you to have your hair done if you grow it all out. And that's what I did. Like, I grew it all out. And without all that kind of weirdness about myself, I became more insecure. I went from being really fucking confident, not giving a shit what anyone thought. You know, I was what I was. People would look at me when I walked down the road like I was a bit of a head turner, but I didn't care. That's what I liked being like. That's how I like to look. Ended up changing myself for the people around me instead of for myself and within the last year or so I've become I had become so much more insecure with myself than I've ever been in my whole life I would literally go to bed every night crying to my pillow kind of just stand there and look at myself in the mirror and pick at everything that I didn't like with my weight you know I've, I've been overweight most of my life I've battled with my weight from a young age even while I was at school like secondary school and everything 
it only hurt me when other people said it and other people noticed you know like i said i'd wear what i wanted i didn't give a shit what anyone else thought of me but in changing myself for everyone around me i then became more insecure and that's what i didn't like and then on top of kind of in the peak of all that happening and me feeling like that all the time my granddad died so that was a really 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 difficult point for me it's even still quite raw to talk about now not just my granddad dying like the whole how i felt about myself every day and the things i used to think about myself it was so fucking hard you know you tell people how you feel when they think you're attention seeking you tell anyone how you feel when they think you're attention seeking stand up for yourself and try to be confident and people still think you're attention seeking it's impossible to win i saw yourself out mess so basically now i got everything redone that i used to have not everything. I've got more piercings now. I feel better about how I look facially. I've reshaved my hair and I much prefer it like this. I feel, again, a lot more confident with myself and enjoy how I look. And in the last three weeks, I've lost nine pounds. So getting back on track with my weight and stuff like that. And I'm just kind of going from feeling really broken to fixing myself. Okay, I'm going to stop now because this video is like nine minutes long now. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a brief... I say brief, this video is quite long. A general gist of why I felt like that and why I went so long without uploading and things like that. I, I needed a time to kind of gather my thoughts and myself together. I needed time to better for myself, not for anyone else, but for me. And I'm in general just much happier with life and myself and everything again now. I kind of, I've kind of dealt with my granddad passing away. I've already been told that I look like I lost weight, which is a huge confidence boost. And I'm just kind of focusing on being me and doing well at college and youtubing for you guys each week so i hope you enjoyed this i'm sorry it wasn't as quirky as i usually am <laughs> i knew this video would be kind of well i ended up crying didn't i i knew this would be something that was very difficult to talk about still quite raw and hurts now but i do feel better and i am generally a lot happier with myself and I'll see you guys next Monday. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me and hearing me talk, subscribe. I do new videos every Monday. That's everything, I think. Bye.